Hey, good afternoon, guys. Tush coming at you. Sunday, March 5th, just after 12 noon. And it's freaking freezing out in the garage. It's about two, 2 or 3 degrees Celsius. So it's about 35 degrees Fahrenheit. It's uh, probably about minus 10 outside and windy. So the wind's just kind of whipping through the cracks in the uh, garage doors. And you can see the light coming in through the insulation there. And the cracks at the bottom of the door are not helping out. So we've got the little garage heater on, but it's struggling to, uh, to keep up. So uh, hopefully it'll get a little warmer out here soon and uh, I can stop from shivering. Anyway, uh, just back looking at that repair we did last night on that flange and that needs to be uh, fixed up and uh, the welding finished on that. Uh, I do have a call in to uh, Crazy Les and I'm uh, trying to convince him to go up to his shop with me today. And what I'd like to do up at the shop is just to do a uh, a dummy panel, so to speak, out of uh, thinner galvanized metal. Uh, Les is a HVAC uh, guy and he has lots of galvanized uh, thin metal uh, lying around, so I was hoping we could bend up a panel, just a practice panel, to use as a template. Because um, I want to start cutting uh, parts of this panel up to repair it. I want to, like I said, I want to mention, I mentioned before, I want to keep that raised rib section, but that section itself needs some repair, so I'm hoping to cut that section out of this panel and repair that before I weld it into the new panel. So, like I said, I was hoping Les was going to come up uh, maybe today and uh, we could head up to his shop and use his, uh, his big brake um, to be able to uh, bend this piece of metal up. So. We'll see what happens today, but other than that, we're going to uh, just uh, concentrate on uh, probably some of the smaller bits on the car. We're not going to do anything too uh, big and crazy today. Maybe we'll finish off that flange and maybe work on another piece of it uh, today. That's it for now, guys. We'll uh, come back when I have something to update. Hey, guys. Last night, I would mentioned that I was going to use a copper backing plate to uh, fix these pinholes that I've got in my welds here because the metal is quite thin. So that's the intent. I'm just going to clamp that in behind there and then weld on top of it. So it acts as a bit of a heat sink and it also provides a bit of a back plate so that the wire doesn't go through the holes. So uh, all I've done is taken a piece of uh, copper plumbing pipe and just cut it. This is just a, I guess a fitting, uh, connector fitting for a copper plumbing. And I've just cut it and flattened it and uh, that's what I use for my uh, my copper backing piece. So just a little uh, tip for you, you don't need to go out and buy an expensive uh, spoon from uh, Eastwood or a welding shop. Just uh, make your own piece. So nothing too exciting guys, just cutting out and repairing uh, flanges. So that's all I'm doing. Not going to video it, but uh, anyway, just thought I'd give you a quick shot of that before I weld a new piece in. Hey guys, Touch coming at you. Monday, March the 6th and uh, just taking a look at this uh, rear trunk panel that uh, Les and I fabricated last night just out of some really thin uh, galvanized uh, metal. So uh, it's not too bad for a first run. It's a difficult uh, panel because of the size to, uh, to shape up. And because of these little, it's not a straight flange here along this edge, it actually comes in and uh, goes around the wheel well. So that makes it a bit of a challenge on that flange. You know, it's basically a, a cut and crimp on this edge here. But you know what, for a first uh, attempt at it, it's not too bad. It's a little better on this side than it is on this side. But that's primarily because I sort of screwed up this uh, fender pa uh, wheel well patch here. Um, so I'm going to have to go back and do that patch, I believe, and bring it out uh, more to actually match this inner panel structure here. So I realized that when I made that patch, but now it's become sort of more glaring that I need to go back and, uh, and fix that. So uh, we did uh, put a bend in it just as a little stiffener here, but that obviously won't be there uh, in the finished panel. Uh, and remember the object of this is to uh, put the rib section back in. So once we get the panel bent up like this in good steel, then the idea is to lay the rib section in, cut around, uh, where the rib section was, remove that middle piece and weld the rib section back in. That's the plan anyway. Um, I did make this panel a little bit short and it's probably because of that uh, that bend we put in the metal to strengthen it. Um, it is a little short at the rear uh, here but it needs to pull up like this and put under the edge so it's just a little short as you can see but uh, we've got sort of the contour going. It's got these funny little uh, 
areas cut in the back here just for some reinforcement welds. So I'm going to have to sort of set up this area in here as well and sort of remanufacture that area. So uh, yeah, not bad. It needs to go back a little bit further against the bulkhead. There's actually the seals back here and then there's a, a, a um, sealing compound that goes back in the uh, corners here to seal that up entirely. But uh, not bad for a first attempt. It's uh, a little tricky when you're dealing with uh, such a rusted uh, and sort of bent panel to try to get everything uh, lined up uh, perfectly to make a template out of it. But like I said, good for a first shot. I'm glad we did it. Um, it shows some areas where we need to work on, at least. And uh, the next one will be better. Just thought I'd give you a quick shot of that. Alright guys, we'll come back later. Okay guys, now that we have our template panel uh, made, I'm going to go ahead and start working on uh, fixing up this uh, panel here which uh, entails me fixing some of these uh, pressed areas and if you recall I'd saved some panels off my 60 TR3 to be able to do that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start trimming this up a little bit and uh, we're going to keep what we can and the rest we're going to discard so I'm going to start trimming all this waste off the edge of here and just sort of keeping what parts of the panel I want to keep then I'm going to actually weld into the center of this panel once we get the proper metal uh, in place. So that's the plan. We're going to start working on that. If you're following along, this is what I'm attempting to do. So I've trimmed away all the scrap pieces off of this uh, ridged part or raised part of the uh, trunk floor pan. And what the intention is, once I get the bottom piece uh, made in the proper metal, then what I plan on doing is welding this in, obviously cutting out the base metal uh, and then welding this in after I mark it out of course and cut out the spare metal plate that will be underneath this then I plan on welding it into the new metal uh, piece on the outside edges and then grinding that down flush so that's what the plan is and of course part of the plan is now to repair this section here which is obviously pretty uh, rusty and uh, it's got some holes here and some pretty heavy damage back in here. So I think this side is going to be okay. I think it's got more just surface rust. Um, we're going to probably just clean it up to make sure first of all. But So we know that this part needs repair. So what I've got for that are these sections here which I retrieved from my 60 TR3. Now these are not from the actual trunk floor pan of the 60 TR3. These are from the, I'm going to call it the cockpit pan because the uh, 60 has a flat floor in it where the 59 has a sloping floor so this is from about this area in the 60. So what I plan to do is I want to basically use these panels and luckily enough if you just notice there these actually line up perfectly with those. So what I plan to do is find the end of them probably around here somewhere and cut out the old metal and weld those in so that will repair the outer sections. I have another section here that I can use for the other piece. Now unfortunately this obviously is shorter than this so this is not going to work so I'd actually have to do this piece independently but you get the idea. Something like that. I think I was going to go like this actually. Sorry for the camera. So this panel was going to be used for here. Something like that. And then this panel with the little scrappy end down here will be used something like that. You get the idea, right? So that'll repair pretty much half that floor section. So that's the intent. That's where I'm going with this. So uh, hopefully that makes a little bit more sense to you. Maybe it doesn't at all. Maybe, maybe you just think I should buy a new panel. But new panels are available for this car. But by the time it gets delivered to my door it would be 600 bucks for this panel and uh, if I can make it and make it look uh, half decent then I'm okay with doing what I'm doing. So anyway, so I just thought I'd give you a quick look of uh, what I plan to do with this uh, trunk floor in the next uh, few days to a week or however long it takes me. That's the plan anyway. So uh, first thing I was going to do is actually start uh, grinding off the paint off of these. So I've got my dust mask out here and we're going to go to town and uh, start doing some grinding, cleaning those up. Alright guys, we'll come back. Alright guys, I think we're done for the night. We've just got that one panel just sort of uh, ground down. Uh, it looks pretty good. There's a little bit of pitting in it, but I'm sure this is probably either a uh, 
original trunk pan from the 60 or a replacement trunk pan that had been in there for some time. So it does have a tiny little bit of pitting here and there, but not too bad. Obviously it's going to be a lot better than what that looks like. So what I'm going to do now is I think I'm just going to give it some uh, gel rust treatment or rust remover and we'll let that sit overnight and we'll come back out here and we'll uh, probably give it another uh, sanding down tomorrow. Okay guys, that's it for tonight. We'll upload this so you can see uh, what crazy ideas I have. Talk to you later.